You know what I really like about making YouTube videos? Is the fact that I have made so many YouTube friends. Yes, friends that sell a variety of stuff and I honestly feel like when I watch them that they're my friend. So, today I'm getting to do a collaboration with one of my friends and that is Heather at the Canary Closet. And Heather um, is a, uh, a young mother. She has teenagers and she coaches volleyball. She just is very active in uh, her life and her children's lives and she was willing to do a collaboration with me and she wanted to do a shoebox. So of course I jumped at the fact to get to do a collaboration with Heather at the Canary Closet. So hi guys, I'm Lisa and if you're if you're new to this channel, I sure do appreciate you coming back. This is Lisa's Find the Redo. And I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who need to find a redo. And I have found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, hard goods, and making these YouTube videos. I have already opened the box, but I have not looked in it. It has the traditional um, teal polka dot paper. It is from Thread Up. It is their 15 pairs of shoes. And I love to pick up shoes, and I'm excited about seeing what was in this, okay? So I paid $80 for the box, and then um, plus shipping, no, I don't pay shipping plus tax. So let's see how many pairs I got and how many I can just sell right now because they're in such beautiful shape. So taking the, the, the paper, the polka dot paper up. And so my first pair of shoes is a pair of, I wish they wouldn't put these rubber bands. The last box I had to end up um, throwing away two pair because the rubber band had ruined them. And they were faux leather, it was just not, but these are really cute Tommy Hilfiger. Their, um, their colors are the red, white, and blue. You see the flag right there. Let's see if you can see the name in the shoe. Yeah, these shoes are in great shape. Can you see it right there? Yeah, they're in great shape. I, you know, I'll maybe run the um, magic eraser over the bottom. And there's a couple of little spots, but nothing bad. And I should be able to get these listed pretty shortly. So happy with number one. Okay, number two is also a pair of sneakers. These look neat, I don't know what they are. These are Madden Girl. These are Madden Girl, they're cute as can be. Uh, let's see if it tells me they are, um, they're, they're all textile, but really cute. They're an eight wide, well it says eight W, but they don't look wide, so I'm assuming maybe eight women's. But aren't they cute? I don't know if you could wear them as slippers or, or just really comfortable winter warm shoes. So I like those. I'm gonna take off my glasses because it's humid as the devil out here. And um, yeah, so they're just, they're gonna fall down. Okay, I'm not real big on heels. Um, and these don't look to be the greatest heels in the world. Don't know much about them. But these are Kelly and Katie. Never heard of this brand. Okay. It is a uh, fabric upper. Um, these look like a pair of shoes that you might wear for a wedding that aren't too hot. The backs need cleaned up. I don't know if they can be cleaned up. And they are a size six. So, I mean, they're okay. We'll have to see what they're worth. And hopefully i'm letting you know right there what these items are worth okay the next item is a pair of j crew sling back heels and these are cute cute little rows with the um uh kind of ivory bow but i like the contrast back there it is leather this is leather uh they are like i said I, they are j crew Let's see if I can find a size. Yep, they are a size seven. But yeah, I'll list those. I don't know how much I can get for them, but I'll sure list them. They're cute shoes. Okay, the next pair of shoes is interesting. Uh, the bottoms, oh, this is, is, you know, where they put the, um, kind of the, oh, what do they call that? The, 
like for slippers and stuff so they don't have to pay as much taxes. These are Frida. Never heard of them. They are cute as can be. Look at this. Cute, cute, cute. Um, let's see. They are a 39 and they are a leather upper. But, yeah, I don't know anything about these. But I will sure look these up. Let's see if the zippers work. Zipper 1 works. Let's see. Zipper 2 works. So, good on zippers. So, that looks like a good shoe, I guess. I mean, it feels good and it looks good. So, I sure am hoping that it is good. Okay, this is a pair of Joe's um, heels. Really high heels. Uh, they are six. They would be really cute during the holiday season. Um, some of the uh, silver or the metallic glitter is coming off. It is a man-made upper. Uh, so I don't know. They're cute. Mm, well, maybe not. Maybe I lied. Okay. So we got some damage there. I might just list them for $10 just to move them. Uh, because they would be cute during the holidays. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, this is a pair of naturalizer, and I knew that because on the bottom it's this little, and this is a pair of ankle boots. And they're cute, blue. I do have a little indention there. But they look like they're in really good shape. Let's see what size they are. Let's see if it has a size. They look like they're in good shape on the inside, too. They are a leather upper, and they are a size seven and a half. So, yeah. Um, yeah, those are cute. Those will be great for this fall and winter. I love that blue color. Okay, another pair of sneakers. These are Converse. These are Converse black sneakers. Just your basic black sneakers. Um, they are the all-star, of course. I think almost always. They're in great shape. I mean, they weren't worn much. And they are a size seven men's, nine women's. So they're cute. Cute. Backs, the bottoms look good. Again, you have that same material that they put on them, so they can not pay as much on customs. But I'll take it. Okay, the next pair is a pair of guess and these are cute I keep saying cute but they are um, kind of a part do you say here's the there guess um, they are a size let's see without my glasses on they are I can't tell if it says six and a half or eight and a half let's put these on real quick they are an eight and a half but Again, great shoes. The heels look to be in good shape. Great shoes for um, this fall and winter. I'm glad I'm getting some shoes for this fall and winter and not just all sandals. Now, I'll say that and I'll start pulling out sandals. But that's okay, too. Okay, this is a pair of Tods. Now, I got one pair of Tods, I think, in a designer box. I still have them. I keep marking down the price. Now, they were white, so kind of understandable but these are a size 39 and they are driving mocks and you see right here where that's like right there that's a problem right there um that seems to be the only thing that's gone through the leather but other than that they're in good shape the tops are in great shape and uh so if you haven't there we go little driving mock okay another pair of she heels course their shoes now these are by Aldo and I don't think Aldo is a very expensive brand but these are just your your traditional pumps well these aren't really pumps these are kind of stiletto heels kind of. okay but the brand is Aldo I don't think it goes for a lot but, you know, they're in good shape, so I, so I should be able to list them and get my money back. You know, when you get a mystery box, it is truly just a crap shot. You get what you get. 
Sometimes you get great things. I mean, Todd's is a quote designer brand. Um, so I got those. And then I've gotten others that aren't as expensive. But, you know, you just take those chances when you get a mystery box. Look, aren't they fun to open? I always said they're like um, opening a mystery box. is like opening a Christmas or birthday present. It's just fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. But they could do without these rubber bands. I should have brought scissors out to cut the rubber bands. Okay. Okay, these are a pair of, let's see, MX from Mexico. Hirachi sandals, is that what these are? Somebody paid $4 at a thrift store for them. Not seeing a size anywhere. That's always, that's the problem, you know. These are cute shoes, and but I don't see a size. So, and they're small, so I don't know how to try them out. But it says M X H E C H O E N Mexico. So we'll have to see about those. I'm not sure. You know, if it's close to my size, I can kind of get a guesstimation. I wear between a nine and a half and a half, and I can kind of get an estimation if it's close to that. But when they're little, it's really hard. Okay, these are a pair of Madewell shoes, and they are cute. I wish I'd have had these a month ago, or two months ago, or three months ago, but they're in really good shape, so there's the name. They, nice little um, color pump. They do have a stain on them right here. Hopefully, I can get it off. I will try. Um... But they are cute and you know the stain is where you'd have to be like i guess cross i don't even know how you'd know that because it's maybe if you crossed your legs somebody could see it um i'm not seeing a size but i will investigate more it doesn't say a size on that right there but i will investigate more to see exactly what size they are so how do you how's things going i have a couple pair left do you like the box so far do you think any of them are like, eh, duds? Do you think any of them are like, yay, you'll make your money back just on that pair? I don't think I have any of those yet. But I do have some pairs that I should make my money back. Okay, cute pair of shoes, and I should, um, yep, one of my favorite brands. And I hope they fit, and I will be so happy. Yeah, I'll just have to show you the bottom because it's dark in there. It is born, okay? I love me some Morn shoes. Um, hmm. These look close to my size. If they're my size, I will keep them because that's, um, I love these boots. They're a suede leather. I really like them. I really, these, these are my favorite so far. So I'm looking at them and I'm thinking they might fit. I wish I could just see a size real quick. One more pair of shoes. Okay, and these are invisible name. Let's see. Oh gosh, I can't tell. Oh, is it um what would A2 be? I hate when I can't think of things. Um A2. Let's see. I mean, they look leather. They're not great made shoes, but, you know, I think I can sell them. I don't think I found any that I will try to sell in my booth because, you know, generally my booth is, um, I live in rural Arkansas, so they're looking for, you know, your Nike and Asics and things like that. So let's do a quick count. So I've got 15 pair, and let's say that, which with my tax and everything is ninety dollars, so that would be what sixteen around sixteen fifty somewhere in there. I mean sixteen six fifty for each pair of shoes. Um, I should make my money back. Honestly, I sure do hope Heather gets a better box than this. But if these boots work for me, it'll be worth it. I just love these boots. They just they look like a good country boot. It looks comfortable. So I'm hoping they fit. I don't know. They, I don't know. 
Let me stick these on. We're going to we'll get back. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Just tried them on. I'm thinking they're an eight and a half. Maybe a nine. I mean, they, they're so comfortable, but I don't have any socks on. So that's why I'm thinking it's like the eight and a half, nine, because with, you know, with socks, it'll definitely take. But these are so soft inside. They're like a flannel line, see? Okay. Well, if they don't work, they don't work, and I'll sell them, and I'll make some money. Isn't that what we're in this business for? But I get a lot of cool clothes. Sorry, I got hiccups. So I want to thank you for watching. And if you haven't gone and watched Heather, the Canary Closet video yet, it's linked down below. Please go watch it and let us know who you think had the better box. I mean, again, I'm hoping she had a better box. It's not a bad box. I'll make my money back. There weren't any just, I mean, those Todd's, if they hadn't had that one rub spot on the leather would be really good, but I still should make my money. And you've been knowing right here what um, comps are. So hopefully I'm doing pretty good. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're over from Heather's channel and you want to subscribe, please do so. If you want to see more unboxings, more hauls, more what solds and all that, please hit the subscribe button. And I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.